Well, hello again. Um, this is Christian here. I'm going to uh, show you the uh, sequencer that I've been building, um, and it's uh, amazingly approaching uh, almost final state here. Uh, this uh, contraption here is a uh, modular synthesizer, um, mainly built of uh, synthesizer.com uh, modules, but there's a bunch of home-built things stuff as well, uh, including this sequencer that uh, I'm going to talk about today. It is a uh, <coughs> analog style sequencer with uh, uh, four rows of uh, eight notes um, that gets played back in order and uh, you can see for each note we have a knob signifying the pitch and then we have a switch that allows you to tell so you can get a good view here uh, if the note is on gate on gate off and then function function we have to go over here to see what function does and it depends the state of this one so we can have either step reset or stop and that's for each note we can do uh, and then we have eight of these per row and four rows and here we have the uh, sequence in mode which means we can go uh, 1 by 32 that plays all 32 notes in a row 2 by 16 that, that runs two of them in parallel for 16 notes and 4 by 8 which means all four rows are running at the same time the other two aren't implemented right now. Uh, we have tempo, so we can set the speed of the uh, sequencing, and uh, gate length, which means the length of each note as it plays back. And then we have start-stop buttons, shift to manually step, and reset. Uh, we also have uh, inputs for reset, uh, shift, and transpose. We have MIDI input output, and we have four rows of, uh, hard to see here, all the cables, um, gate uh, con gate and control voltage. And then we have for each row we have the function and we have quantizing on or off or direction, up, down or random. So uh, if I put the camera down here somehow, like so, no that's wrong. That's better. And I'm going to press start. So here we have all four running. Um, oh, uh, all four rows here running, but we only hear the uh, top row right now, so we can set. Something like that, and we can tell if uh, something should be quiet. Turn off some notes. And we can set the tempo. We can also tell how long each note is, so if I... Do it all the way, then the whole note is playing for the whole step. Or just... Or a little step like that. And crank that up and... Do that with a filter instead here. Uh, so, if I switch this to 32, then we're going to play all the notes in a row. Some of these are set to off or skip or whatnot. But if we go back to, we can go to 216 as well. We still only have the top row here though. Um, so if I go to 4, to listen to the top row, we can change direction. Now it goes backwards. We can go random. Or backwards, or up. Um, but I can also output uh, all these other rows, so if I crank up the, uh, you see up here I have a mixer that I can turn on the other channels. Ooh. Not very nice, but... Um, we can... Uh, 
as we see here, this last one, this last, if I go to 4.8, so now we're listening to, let's just listen to the top row again, and connect the fourth row to the filter down here. This is an uh, ARP4072 filter uh, clone that I built. So now the filter is connected, I'm going to crank up the... So now we can control the pitch with the first row and then the filter. Oop. And get fun ways, and we can do that random, of course. So that's pretty cool. Um, we can. Uh, <coughs> so all this is driven with the internal clock right now, uh, and we can also synchronize it to an external. Um, well, first of all, I can synchronize manual stepping uh, with uh, another analog device by using the uh, shift and reset inputs for each channel. But I also have the MIDI input, so this is now, if we uh, can trigger it using a drum machine for example, which is right now turned off, but I'm going to turn it on and if we look at the little tempo blip here, with in, which indicates the tempo. If I'm turning on, I'm going to turn it to really fast right now. If I'm turning on the drum machine, you're going to see this as soon as the drum machine turns on, it's going to start synchronizing with the drum machine. So now the drum machine is on there, so I can press play here. So now it's synchronized with the drums playing. Ah. Something like that. I can change the tempo on the drum machine. So you see that it runs pretty smooth and uh, just into random here. I have a nice little random sequence here and uh, I love the way the uh, lights blink when we go random. We can turn all to random and just sit and stare at the LEDs. Beautiful. Um, anyway, I'm going to um, turn off here and uh, connect another synthesizer to show you the MIDI output.